now because we're in cool rap on tape. <laughs> we're <laughs> That's blended, the right? energy we need from the video. Let's do that. Yeah. Tell my parents I love them. All. <laughs> I've never been made to work so much for my coffee ever. <laughs> so this shows if you're a true coffee addict or not. <laughs> I'm, I'm moving away. I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour of the African penthouse that we're staying in in Joburg CBD. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. We'll be spending the whole weekend here and we'll be taking you along with us to show you how you can spend an amazing weekend in Joburg with a focus on the CBD, but we'll also be venturing out a little bit. So yeah, we'll be trying great food places, places to have a drink, maybe a little dance, maybe shopping, let's see what the weekend holds. But yeah, the exciting thing is this is going to be more of a vlog style video. So yeah, just join us for the ride, come on. Stanley, which is a really cool place. What what's the area called? In Auckland Park. Uh, Auckland Mill Park. Yes, it's a Mill Park. What he said. <laughs> and they have really cool boutiques, uh, places to eat. And we were planning to have brunch here at a really nice place called Salvation Cafe. But unfortunately, there will be load shedding in about five minutes, so they're closing everything down, which is really annoying. So we need to find another place to yeah. eat. And I think we're gonna be heading out to the market now, so we might have our brunch there. Even though it's not so cute, but I mean, it's the market. Exactly. Let's see what we find. Turns out that we were able to get food at Salvation Cafe after all. They operated on a shorter load shedding menu. For all of you who aren't familiar with this, load shedding in South Africa involves scheduled power cuts to ease pressure on the system. Sadly, this has gotten steadily worse in the last years, with load shedding happening up to three to four times in one day. <laughs> Back in the car! We finished at 44 Stanley. We actually had some nice food. They had a special load shedding menu, which was nice. Which was good, yeah. We had the burgers, we loved them. And now we headed off to Bromfontein, uh, to the playground. I, I'm excited for that. I don't know what to expect because I haven't been there in a while. Same, like I was there last time before COVID when it was still called Neighbor Goods Market and Sibo told me they rebranded. To also, the playground. It's actually a good name. Yeah, I think the name is cool. And I think it fits what the place is about now because it's about dancing, mixing with the market and the food. So yeah. Exactly. So we're heading there now. Come with us. Shades now because we're in Brandfontein, which is really cool. 
So we made it to what was formerly known as the neighborhood's market, now known as the playground. Yes, and it's not as busy as it used to. Yeah, so it's actually empty, literally. And yeah. you know what? In South Africa, there's a culture of going out during the last few days of the month. Of month, and we call it month thing. So this is like the middle of the month. People are broke, so it's very chilled and very nice. But it's still so nice. Yeah, we still like it. We're gonna show you around a little bit. We bought some drinks. <laughs> we bought some drinks. Yeah. Oh, you mean we got some bubbly? Oh, so yeah, we're going to pop in and have a good time and show you around. climbed up to get our coffee, which was an adventure. I thought I couldn't do it, but I'm here. You I did it. it. I made it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we're about to have some iced coffee. What are you having? I'm having iced coffee too, but unsweetened. <laughs> are you trying to out me that I'm having a suited <laughs> one? Oh God. <laughs> Are you down? <laughs> we made it! We made it! Cheers! Cheers. We made it! Oh, this really makes you work for your coffee, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. This will show whether you're a coffee addict or not. Which I'm not even. But we did it. We did it. I'm a survivor,
It's 7.30 a.m. I'm quite tired. You can probably see by the rings under my eyes, even though I always have them. Um, it was a little bit of a late night, which just goes to show that you can have a great time if you like going out in Joburg. Um, being a bit quiet because I was uh, still sleeping. But I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour of the African penthouse that we're staying in, in Joburg CBD. You can see here there's a really cool lounge area if you want to watch TV, some cool artwork. For winter, you can stay warm, a cool dining area, and then there's a really big kitchen area as well if you like cooking or, I don't know, all your wine in the fridge. It's a big fridge. Um, espresso machine, snake appliances, so it's, it's really cool. They have a lot of stuff. And I almost forgot to show you one of the best rooms in this penthouse. Let me show you. It's a hammock room. Have you ever seen something like this? This is so cool. So if you just need a moment to relax, you can sit in the hammock. Okay, it is, I don't know, 9 a.m. We are cruising in Joburg CBD to get some coffee after a night out. I don't know why I keep feeling like, oh, it was a long night out. It wasn't even a long <laughs> night out, but this is what happens when you turn 30. It's like, you get home by midnight. And it's like, oh, it was a long night out. <laughs> I need coffee. Oh so, my God. And we're going weird. to my favorite coffee spot. Um, Can I show you now? Yes, I'm embarrassed <laughs> to show on camera because I'm still in yesterday's clothes. I have not had time to change and everything, but I'm excited to show you this coffee shop because it's really nice. I've been hearing a lot about it, so I can't wait. Good morning. I'm just gonna stop like <laughs> sometimes. Look, we're tired, we're, we're knackered. Um, it's just past 9 a.m. and we came out to get some coffee. Yes. At the house of bean. Is it house or home of bean? I think it's called home of bean in Mabonet. Here it is, home of bean. That's cool. A little cute spot in Mabonet. The guys here are always so friendly, the food is good, so I love this spot. Yeah, it's really, really cute. Uh, we'll take some videos to show you as well. Mm -hmm. 
Another big recommendation for things to do in Joburg on a Saturday is drag brunch at a street bar named Desire. What an amazing name for a bar, by the way. Drinks were flowing and the show was epic. Of course, no Joburg weekend guide is complete without the Karachi experience. A cool fashion meets city tour with the one and only Sebo. Get yourself a custom-made African print garment while exploring the central business district. I have an entire separate video on this on my channel, so do go and check it out. An honorable mention goes out to Proud Mary. This has become one of my favorite restaurants in Joburg. Delicious tapas style plates with great drinks. Lastly, come to Saigon Suzy for tasty Southeast Asian street food. Refreshing drinks and karaoke. Yes, karaoke. We had way too much fun. But whatever happens in the karaoke room stays in the karaoke room. Believe me, it's for your own good not to hear us sing. And there you go. This is my weekend guide to cool things you can do in Joburg, at least part one. I'm sure eventually I'll do a part two. And if you have any great suggestions, things that we have missed, do leave a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.